All right, uh, Shalom. Before I start, I'm going to uh, give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rachachorash, the honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations to all the elect Akim, Wa Akwatim, learning, teaching, and truth and sincerity. All right, this is going to be another uh, video through the Spirit. And I'm, I'm going to try to get through the, uh, <laughs> this one as quickly as possible because I don't like looking at what's on my screen, nor do I like even thinking about this for more than 10 seconds. But, you know, I was just scrolling through YouTube, and I'll leave the link in the description. I watched the whole video. You have now uh, a influx, of, you know, a wave of Northern Kingdom, all right, so-called... Latinos, you know, specifically, uh, you know, Issachar, Ephraim and whatnot, flooding and turning to Islam, converting <laughs> to uh, to being a, a daggone Muslim, man. I mean, I watched this video. I just I was I just wanted the Heavenly Father to send a lightning bolt through and just whack everybody, man. All this hell. <sighs> That's who you're going to turn to, Jake? Yeah, come on, man. You already, you know, a lot of your, oh, shit, man. Hey, this is why we need Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to restore us. Because the longer this place goes, the more lost our people would get. All right, and one thing, because and some time ago on my first channel, before I got took down, I did a video on it. One of the ways to know that, uh, you know, that the Northern Kingdom was over there in the Middle East with us, and that they came over here to the Americas, uh, and how they were under the king of Assyria, is the fact that they share such distinct uh, features with the Arab nations, with the Ishmaelites, to the point that in certain cases they can be indistinguishable. All right, you might be, especially here in Michigan where I'm at, you have an area known as uh, Southwest Detroit, which is where all Northern Kingdom be hanging out, and then you'll have the city of Dearborn, which is basically a, a hotbed, uh, the nest for the Arabs, all right? And you'll have, like, say, you know, I'll be at the gym. You'll see someone, and you'll think it's a, you'll think it's a, 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 a Ishmaelite bastard. You know, then you hear him talk, get to speak in Spanish. You're like, oh, shit, that's a, oh, God, that's a, uh, it's a crite. Or the vice versa, you'll see someone that you think is a straight-up Iskrite or uh, Ephraimite. All right, and you'll hear him start speaking that Arabic shit, and you'll be like, "Damn, that's a, you know, a heathen, man." Hey, let me just get the first scripture to start off with. Man, is man, Jake. Our people are off bad. They're searching for every which way because they're catching hell in their Americas. They've realized that Christianity isn't working. They've realized that, you know, America is is full of shit. So they're looking for all the answers, but they're looking for the answers in the wrong places. All right, let me get a. Uh, what is it? Uh, let me get this. You know, I'm going to just put up a couple of scriptures. Akim, I want y'all to go watch this little video, man. I think it's in like 20 minutes. Man, our people are gone, man. Hey, our people are gone. Not just Northern Kingdom, all of our people. Uh, Hosea 4 and... I'll start at 15. It says, Though thou, Israel, play the har har harlot, Salakia, Yet let not Judah offend, and come not ye into Gilgal, neither go, go ye up to Beth of In, nor swear the Lord liveth. For Israel slideth back as a backsliding heifer. Now the Lord will feed them as a lamb in a large place. And so this is one of the things that you're seeing. Israel sliding back. That's why we keep ending up in this situation, because our people keep turning to ideologies that don't, that don't exist. They keep turning to false idols and false gods, getting themselves jacked up. All right, what type of, I mean, it's bad enough you had Southern Kingdom do that mass exodus to Islam, you know, in the, uh, you know, 30, 40 some years ago, the niggas started cooking up bean pies, putting on bow ties and putting out white, it looked like a spaghetti strainer, <laughs> it looked like a, a, a damn kitchen strainer on top of their head, I don't know what it's called, all right, and now you have Northern Kingdom do, uh, doing it too, showing you that what, uh, Judah, Southern Tribe, is the the southern tribes is the head of Israel. Whatever they do, the whole rest of the nation follows. And now Northern Kingdom is following suit. Niggas get in a break dancing, then this car again. Uh, Northern Kingdom get in a break dancing. All right. Uh, 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 southern Kingdom start holding guns sideways. Northern Kingdom start holding naked. 
gun sideways. Southern Kingdom started gang banging here in the Americas. Northern Kingdom started gang banging in South Americas, man. You know, it's showing you that we're the same people. Man, but this is so, oh, man. This shit was sad. I was just looking at this shaking my head the whole time. These are just many of the reasons that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai put hell on us, allowed us to go into slavery, and it's still allowing the ones of us that aren't right to get jacked up. Why? Because when we started catching hell, we didn't turn to him. We turned to these idols. All right. And so for any of you so-called Latinos that may come across this video, you're not a Mexican. All right. You're Iskrite. You're not a Puerto Rican. You're an Ephraimite. All right. You're not a Brazilian. You're an Asherite. You're not a Colombian. All right. You're uh, not. You're not Cuban. All right. You're a Manassite. You. The titles that the so-called white man Esau, or his name is known as Esau, gave you, that is not true. You are a biblical Israelite. Your true power is the creator of the heavens and the earth. All right, the heavenly Father Yahweh and His Son Yahweh Shai. All right, which can be read about in the Bible and no other book. Islam is not the way for you to go. All right, don't do that, or you you gonna you gonna catch that missile. All right, Hosea four and seventeen. It says Ephraim is joined to idols. Let him alone, all right? Ephraim is the head of Northern Kingdom. And what this means is that uh, you could substitute the word here, Ephraim, for Northern Kingdom. Basically, the so-called Latinos and Native Americans is saying they're joined to idols, meaning what? They love idolatry. They cling to it heavily, all right? They gave up uh, uh, the candles with Mary, all right, for some candles of, of a moon crescent representing Allah. Man, man, you'll say, I can, you see it, man. I was watching the video. There's going to be certain, in the way that Northern Kingdom looks, certain of them, you're not going to, you're going to think that they're Ishmaelites until they start speaking Spanish. All right, this is how, when you read, uh, like in Revelation chapter 7, it tells you what, from all peoples, all kindreds, you know, all tongues. This is why things like that happen, all right? Now, say one of the, say this place had time, one of these Iskri men, with this newfound Islam belief, he goes and marries an Ishmaelite woman. And he's going to have a, a a son. That son is going to, might have facial features, all right, of a physical appearance of an Ishmaelite. That son, all you know, although he's an Israelite, now that son is going to go get an Ishmaelite woman. And the next son is going to, on and so forth. And so now, a couple of generations later, you got a little motherfucker speaking straight Arabic. He don't even know that he's an Israelite. This is the, this is the problem when you turn... To these other idols, all right. Let me get a uh, let me get a couple more, man. Man, that shit was. Uh, I was just shaking my head the whole time. Jeremiah chapter two, right here. Jeremiah chapter two, verse twenty-seven. It says, "Saying to a stock, thou art my father, and to a stone, thou hast brought me forth. For they have turned their back unto me, and not their face. But in the time of their trouble." They will say, arise and save us. And that's what they're doing. They're actually praying to a rock five times a day, bloodying up their foreheads against the ground, plant, praying to that that fucking piece of uh, rock. All right. Uh, I won't say concrete because I don't believe it's made out of concrete if it actually came from outer space, which it probably didn't. All right. Playing, praying to that little damn pebble that fell down. They sitting there praying to it, bunking their heads to it, man. Turning their back to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, lifting up little tiny objects, making statues out of it, and making that to be who they believe in. All right, but when all hell comes down upon this world, who are they gonna start? What they? Hey man, what's the? Who you? you Y'all was saying what? You, you who this? You you what that? That's when they're gonna want to turn back, and it's gonna be far too late. It's gonna be. It's gonna be too. It's gonna be too much death and destruction. All right. Let me see. I'll just hop forward. See if I can get a picture or something. Shh, look at them, man. Northern Kingdom up in some daggone. I believe that's because uh, they were. Uh, let me just. I, I want to see if I can get it. Now, this is one of, one of the main leaders. Man, the Lord's going to strike him through, man. He one of the main Northern Kingdomers helping convert uh, his own people to Islam. Let me see, I want to get a picture of all of them bowed down. He, he's been doing it for years. That's a picture of him, you know, years ago, over a decade and so ago. Let me see. Arabic vocabulary, man. Come on, man. 
See, this is another one, man. This nigga got a damn, <laughs> got a daggone poncho, look like a soccer team colors, customized with that damn Ishmaelite uniform, man. Fucking a mockery, a joke. This is what this is what pisses off the Heavenly Father. He put more hell on us for us to turn back to him, not to go and seek out the idols that caused our destruction in the first place. All right, look at them all in a moss, wearing that hat shit, man. Look like a, 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 a somebody put a beanie in a dryer and the bitch shrunk, man. Don't even fit the whole head. God damn it, man. Jeremiah 2 and 28. It says, But where are thy gods that thou hast made thee? Let them arise if they can save thee in the time of thy trouble. For according to the number of thy cities are thy gods, O Judah. All right, so that's what's going to happen. When the trouble, when Jacob's trouble comes upon this world full force, all right, which it's starting right now says latino muslim convert let me hit this thing i was gonna hit watch later jimmy green which that motherfucker might be a tear <laughs> i don't know but right there man got their kids in that bs them kids gotta get slaughtered you know let me rephrase that those kids aren't gonna be able to uh make it a part of the first fruits because their parents have them up in up in them harlot houses all right and then they they also do have actual Ishmaelites in there, so it's just a big, it's a big shit show and uh, bucket of confusion. You go in there, you won't know who's who. That's the, and our people have a history of doing that. That's why he said, but uh, oh, let me get this. Uh, that's not the exact one I wanted. Right here, Jeremiah eleven and thirteen. It says, for according to the number of thy cities were thy gods, O Judah, and according to the number of the streets of Jerusalem have ye set up altars to that shameful thing, even altars to burn incense unto Baal. All right, let me double check something. Okay, yep. Yeah. Hey, and that's what our people have been into idolatry for so long, all right, and do it with so much, uh, with so much fervency. That it's like, it's like streets, like how you know, the average, you know, a city will have thousands of streets. Our people have thousands of different beliefs. They go and flock and follow anything except for that, which is the truth. And they're going to be punished for that. That's why it says this in the next verse. Therefore, pray not thou for this people, neither lift up a cry or a prayer for them. For I will not hear them in the time that they cry unto me for their trouble. All right, that's what's going to happen. You Jakes that want to go run into Islam, man, that's already... You know, man, Salaki, I keep cutting myself out of my own speech when I'm finishing my points. But that's already a failed formula. Has Islam worked for the so-called Negroes? No. So why the, why would you go? Why would y'all go flocking to that? All right. Had did did it work for Malcolm X? That nigga, that nigga got to they. He was absorbed bullets like a sponge and fell the fuck out. It didn't work for him. So why else? That's already a failed experiment. Let me see if I can get this uh this next scripture, man. Jake, man. Jake be Jake be effing up. <laughs> Jake be effing up, man. Big and bad. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see if I can find this. Okay. I'll type this in. This will probably be one of the final scriptures. Perfect. Uh, Isaiah chapter 44. I'll start at 19. It says, And none considereth in his heart, neither is there knowledge nor understanding to say, I have burned part of it in the fire. Now, this whole chapter is dealing with idolatry. The it that is talking about is basically giving the parable of a man, you know, let's say he went outside and got a piece of wood. He used some of the wood to build a boat, some of it to use to build his house. And then he used some of it to make a little God to bow down unto and start praying to. That not too long ago was just a piece of wood attached to a tree. Alright, it says, I have burnt part of it in the fire, yeah. Also, I have baked bread upon the coals thereof. I have roasted flesh and eaten it. And shall I make the residue thereof an abomination? So this is a rhetorical question, alright. you That little piece of wood, you just built you a house. You just used it to get you a fire going. And now you're going to carve it up and now you're going to make a God unto it? 
It says, shall I fall down to the stock of a tree? Are you going to pray and worship something that is a bunch of bull? That's what Northern Kingdom is down there doing, all right? These clowns are based out of Houston, man. So y'all can get down and face the east for Islam, for uh, as they title it, as they call it, Allah, all right? Allah, you know, all that, <laughs> all that BS. But you can't get down and face the east for your how about Shimi Shai, all right? Man, Jake, man. Verse 20. He feedeth on ashes. A deceived heart hath turned him aside, that he cannot deliver his soul, nor say, Is there not a lie in my right hand? So a lie has deceived their hearts and turned them aside. They don't realize that they have a lie in their right hand, meaning what? They're worshiping a false ideology. They're worshiping idols. BS. Garbage. All right? Kaka. All right? Like Northern Kingdom like to say, you that it that's Islam is kaka. Alright, let me see what's up under here. It says Latinos are one of the fastest growing groups within Islam in America. Vice's Lee Adams travels to Houston, Texas, the home of America's first Islam and Spanish center. That's crazy, man. Fuck, man. It says to investigate what's behind this phenomenon and how America's current political climate might be related. As a former gang leader, Jaime Mujahid Fletcher. Man, I'm done reading that, dude. Come on, man. You got a whole... His name ain't even... His name is Jaime, man. Now, and you gonna... How you gonna be a Muslim walking around named Jaime? Come on, man. Hey. I'm gonna cut it into this video. Because I'm gonna just end up ranting. Hey, they have a lie in their right... They have a lie in their heart. And they're gonna... They're not gonna realize it. Until the destruction takes them away. And that's what it's going to take. Uh, let me see. Let me see. I'll actually get this. I'll finish on this. I could go to Isaiah 1. You know. But I'll actually finish on this. Let me see. Let me see actually. Um, no, I'll go to Isaiah 1. There's no point in even, uh, perfect. Isaiah 1 and 5. Why should ye be stricken anymore? You will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick and the whole heart faint. From the sole of the foot, even unto the head, there is no soundness in it, but wounds and bruises and putrefying sores. They have not been closed, neither bound up, neither mollified with ointment. So that's the condition of Jake, uh, a bunch of, Creatures with open wounds and mollified uh, swords. There's no point in there's no point in arguing with these niggas, man. Like, hey, like if a group of them was to come by camp, I would just stand there in shock and awe. I would pick my jaw up off the floor and read whatever precept the the head of the camp tell me to read, man. Because there's no point in even the heavenly father's just gonna have to get rid of them. You can't. You, these idiots. They think they found the truth. You know, they went from Christianity and Catholicism. You know, they started watching Illuminati videos, this and that. Then they got to Islam. And, like, the feeling that you get when you come to the truth, they get that. When they went to Islam, they think they didn't got it. So you're not going to be able to convince them. They're just going to have to die. They're just going to have to die. All right? They're too far gone. They're too deep in the shithole. All right? Hey, so with that, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rechach Rosh. The honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all the elect Akim. Walk with them, learning, teaching, and truth and sincerity. With that, I'm going to say Shalom, all right, and a Baba Ball.